Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert a VirtualBox VDI disk file to a VMware VMDK disk file so that way you could open up your VirtualBox virtual machines in VMware Workstation. Okay, so we did a video on this uh, a little while ago on how you could use the VBox Manage command line from VirtualBox to accomplish this. So I'll put a link in the description for that in case you want to check that out. But today we're just going to show you a secondary method you could use so you can see which one you like better. Okay, so I have VirtualBox open here. So we're going to do this Windows 11 Pro VM here. So if we go to the settings, storage, click on the virtual disk file. We can see the path to the virtual disk here. And then I have that open here. So here is the VDI file we're going to convert. And to do so, we're going to be using a free tool called QEMU. So once you download the zip file and extract it, you'll have some DLL files in the executable. So you just need to open an administrative command prompt to the location of the executable. So in my case here, it's on the D drive in this folder with the same name. Okay, let's go to the D drive. All right, so now we're in the right directory. Okay, so for the command, it's going to be the executable name, qemu-imgexe, convert, dash p, that'll show the progress. So here is the path to our VDI file. Put it in quotes if you have spaces. And then we wanna do dash o for output. Then vmdk is the type of file we wanna to output to. And then the destination. So I'm gonna actually put it in the same folder just for the sake of simplicity, but you probably wanna put it in the location of your vmdk files. So that way when you make a virtual machine in VMware Workstation, it'll be in the right location. Okay, so same thing with the path in quotes and then the virtual disk file. So I'm going to leave it with the same name. You could change it. Just make sure you have VMDK at the end instead of VDI. Okay, so let's copy and paste this into the command prompt. Okay, so this will take a few minutes. So I will pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, so the process is complete. So let's see what we got. Okay, here's our original VDI file, 30.2 gigabytes. Here's our VMDK file, 29.7, so they're pretty close in size. Okay, so now we're going to go over to VMware Workstation and make a new virtual machine using this converted disk image. Okay, we'll just choose the I will install the operating system later since this image has Windows on it. All right, then we'll pick Windows, Windows 11. We'll call this imported from VirtualBox. Of course, you could change your location if you want. And then since Windows 11 requires a TPM and encryption, we'll put in a password. Just make sure you don't forget this password. Use UEFI. We'll go with the defaults here. We'll go with the default there since it's just a test, but obviously you're going to want more for Windows 11. We'll use NAT. I'll go with the default for the controller and the hard disk. Now we're going to use an existing virtual disk rather than create a new virtual disk. Okay, so now we need to select our virtual disk file. So this will be the one we just converted. So there's the VMDK right there. So now this next step is up to you. We're going to convert it to the latest format here. Then of course you could customize the hardware if you want. So click on finish. Okay. So now we have our new virtual machine imported from VirtualBox. So we'll start it up and see what happens. All right, it's configuring the new virtual hardware. Okay, put in our pin. All 
All right, there's our desktop. So I'm recording at a low resolution for this video, but you can see that we got into Windows just fine. All right, so once again, just find your VDI file. Run this command here. I'll put it in the description. That way you can just kind of edit this uh, with your own names and paths and so on. And then I'll also put a link in the description where you can download QEMU. So once you convert your file, just do a new virtual machine in VMware Workstation and attach your new disk image, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.